Apple carries out its exclusionary anti-competitive conduct in two principal ways. First, Apple imposes contractual restrictions and fees that limit the features and functionality that developers can offer iPhone users. Second, Apple selectively restricts access to the points of connection between third-party apps and the iPhone's operating system, degrading the functionality of non-Apple apps and accessories. As a result, for most of the past 15 years, Apple has collected a tax in the form of a 30% commission on the price of any app downloaded from the App Store, as well as on in-app purchases. Apple is able to command these fees from companies of all sizes. Apple has also suppressed the emergence of programs like cloud streaming apps, including gaming apps, as well as super apps that could reduce user dependence on Apple's own operating system and expensive hardware. And as any iPhone user who has ever seen a green text message or received a tiny, grainy video can attest, Apple's anti-competitive conduct also includes making it more difficult for iPhone users to message with users of non-Apple products. It does this by diminishing the functionality of its own messaging app and by diminishing the functionality of third-party messaging apps. By doing so, Apple knowingly and deliberately degrades quality, privacy, and security for its users. For example, if an iPhone user messages a non-iPhone user in Apple Messages, the text appears not only as a green bubble, but incorporates limited functionality. The conversation is not encrypted, videos are pixelated and grainy, and users cannot edit messages or see typing indicators. As a result, iPhone users perceive rival smartphones as being lower quality because the experience of messaging friends and family who do not own iPhones is worse, even though Apple is the one responsible for breaking cross-platform messaging. And it does so intentionally. For example, in 2013, a senior executive at Apple explained that supporting cross-platform messaging in Apple Messages, quote, would simply serve to remove an obstacle to iPhone families giving their kids Android phones, close quote. In 2022, Apple's CEO was asked whether Apple would fix iPhone to Android messaging. The questionnaire added, quote, not to make it personal, but I can't send my mom certain videos, close quote. Apple's CEO responded, buy your mom an iPhone. In addition to selectively controlling app distribution and creation, we allege that Apple is violating the law by conditionally restricting developers' access to the interface, which is needed to make an app functional on the Apple operating system. For a product like a smartwatch or a digital wallet to be useful to an iPhone user, it must be able to communicate with the iPhone's operating system. But Apple creates barriers that make it extremely difficult and expensive for both users and developers to venture outside the Apple ecosystem.